Kite. Just ignore that's from a previous stream. Uh, this is a video for the SciTech forums about uh, a problem that I'm having with my uh, SciTech keyboard. It's not actually been used for quite a while. So if I just flip this across to the camera, you can see me. Uh, there's a light on. Now, I know there's different uh, generation versions of this, but this is, as far as I know, one of the original SciTech cyborgs. Slightly battered, hence why it's missing two uh, macro keys on the side. So, uh, basically, the last time I used this, or tried using it, uh, Windows wouldn't recognize it at all. It was uh, telling me it was something it wasn't. I think it was actually putting it up as a USB composite device, which it's not. It's supposed to come up as a human interface device. So, uh, I'll just tilt this down so you can see better. What we're going to do today is put this in and see what happens. Uh, I figured I'd do it as a video because I'm better at speaking than I am with typing. So, uh, let's put the uh, camera down. Keep it next to my mouse, actually. I can't really disconnect that. So, two USB cables, of course. There we go. I'll set this to a 3D mix so you can see my desktop. I'll put this down into the corner just so you'll see the uh, new hardware wizard when it comes up. So, there is said SciTech. Let's get this in and see what happens. There's X and KB, so KB input. First, of course, okay, let's get to the actual port, that would help a lot. There we go. One in. Two in. There we go. Installing device driver software. Now, if I just put this to screen, so you can see this quite clearly. Installing device driver, it says USB composite device, which it is not. I really don't know why Windows is telling me it's composite. It's not. It's a human interface device. Um, Cyborg's actually lit up. No num lock, no caps lock, no scroll lock at the moment. Yeah, see, here we go. Look, USB composite device ready to use, and then... Cytex Cyborg keyboard failed. Now I'm really not sure why it's doing this. I really don't know. So if I close this and bring up the control panel, there we go. System and the device manager. And then we'll flip this across. Uh, yes, my machine is to Necromancer because uh, Necromancer is my alias. So here we go. It has detected it. It says Cytex Cyborg Keyboard, Cytex Cyborg Keyboard. And if I double click that, uh, we have this, which says the device is not configured correctly. Function driver was not specified for this device instance. So going by the old things on the forums, if I click update, and then browse my computer. I think that was where I had the old extracted one. I don't think that's there anymore. No, it's not. So if I uh, browse to the uh, exe and see whether that works. I'm not sure whether I'm going to have to uh, extract these again. Yes, it says the best driver is already installed. Uh, it's not. So I really don't know what's going on there. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. If I uh, just so it says like for confirmed device installed, delete the driver software. 
the drive software that's non-functioning. Do that for each one, see? I'm just saying the unknown device it says from my sound card. That's creative, it's not actually relevant to this. And if I scan for plug and play again, installing device data. See now it comes in as a USB input device. Ah, see now it's been strange. We've got ready to use, ready to use. Create game port failed. Ah, see now we've got things different. I wasn't actually expecting this, so I'm still going to carry this on because I don't know what's happening. Keyboards, unknown device. Uh, SciTech on USB input. This device is not configured correctly. Code 1. Cannot create a file when that file already exists. That's very strange. That's new to me. SciTech people or forum regulars, please feel free to uh, tell me what that is. Uh, I'm just going to bob back to the camera for a moment just so I can show. See, it is powered on. It is working. Touch panel works, so see, turning it into sidewalk mode, but I think that's standard. So all the luminary stuff works. Uh, the mute button is actually muting the sound, surprisingly. Um, let's see if I can do this as the uh, 3D mix. So it does have some form of interactivity with Windows. So there's the uh, mute button, which I'm sure lots of you will know. If I, can, I, can't, I don't even know whether you've been able to see it, because I can't actually see it. But if I press the mute button, you see it mutes Windows. So it's got some form of interactivity. <laughs> It's just not doing it correctly. And now I've uh, buggered up the stream. Oh, there we go. So I don't know what's going on with that at the moment. If I try installing the uh, drivers, I'm just going to move this over here so you don't see like all the crap that I have on my hard disk. Stick back to uh, oh no that was the wrong one screen there we go. <laughs> um, go back to stuff. Let's bring that down. There's the two SciTech drivers there. There's obviously the one for the uh, drivers, and then there's the one for the uh, program software. Now I know there's mixed things because there's people saying try the drivers first. And there's people saying, do the uh, smart software first. So I'll do the smart software and run it as administrator. If I do any of this wrong, please just tell me after. Because uh, obviously I can do another run through it then. So we go, Madcats will install the ST programming. I accept the terms. Next. I'm not sure who reads the terms in software, but... Uh, it's SciTech, you know, I already trust them. I'm not really saying that I need to uh, check over things. Now, I know that this installs the uh, Magic Mouse, I think, is it? Yeah, programmable support. Must be installed to program mouse and keyboard commands. So, you see, here we go. This is the uh, Magic Mouse device and things which is currently here. It says it's searching Windows Update, but it shouldn't need to. I didn't even have to confirm anything then. I'll click Close. See, there we go, that works. Click Finish. So that's that. And then if I uh, just shrink this down, put that in the corner again, and then try running the drivers, This never works because uh, Windows 
obviously doesn't know it's here. Oh no, that's it. Plug in the controls you want to update. Continue. Click next. Let's see how this works out. The process may take some time. So it says it's currently uh, sat there not doing anything. Really not sure why. So we'll just leave it at that and see when it's actually going to uh, put forward any form of information. Because at the moment it's just spinning and it's not doing anything. Oh, sorry, interference again. Anyway, yeah, driver installation, which doesn't seem to be uh, doing anything at the moment. Not too sure why. So, uh, I should check in Task Manager to see whether it is actually responding. Oh dear lord, Task Manager's become quite huge. That's not nice. So there's Task Manager. Yeah, it's uh, running as far as I know. Yep, yeah, there we go. So it's trying to do something. We just don't know what. Because I'm sure you guys on the forum will know it does not normally take this long to uh, update the drivers. The really not sure at the moment. We'll keep this going. Luckily, I do have unlimited upload time on YouTube, so because uh, obviously there's a 15 minute standard length. Uh, limit for normal people but I have the uh, unlimited upload time so this uh, should work I'm just gonna have to fill in by talking so yeah I know my site is quite battered the space bar is a bit dodgy on it two macro keys slash paddles whatever you want to call them on the left that broke off quite a while back it's actually not been used for quite a while. I've been using a uh, very old Microsoft keyboard that's actually a PS2 port. It's getting very dirty and it's horrible, big white clunky thing. And I want to go back to my SciTech because I really do miss it. And you know, SciTech are an awesome company. They make fantastic keyboards like the SciTech Cyborg. Yeah, this isn't going well. I've gotten quite a feeling in the back of my mind that this driver installation just isn't working because there's no way in hell that it should take this long. I'll throw this out to the people on the forums again. Uh, I've got no idea what to do. If you wanted to put it down as a final resort, I guess the only thing that one could do would be to reinstall Windows. But if you've seen elements of my desktop when I've been doing this, it's not something I'd want to do because I've got a lot of games and programs on here. Ugh. Hooray, 14 and a half minutes, and this still hasn't worked. It's quite weird because there is hard disk activity, uh, albeit tiny amounts. But I think that's down to the uh, recording of this at the moment. I really don't know. So 
So it's just the fact, you know, this process may take some time. Normally it's a couple of minutes. This must have been on here now for maybe five or six minutes. I really don't know what to do. Right, what I'm going to do is stop the video here and I'm going to continue it on from when this changes and I say when it changes probably should use the word if it changes because we're on 15 minutes now what I'll do is edit the video together and uh, upload it so you people can watch it uh, anyway what do I do SciTech people what do I do okay so we've allowed about 10 to 12 minutes to go past and it is still sat here telling me it's trying to update the drivers. Really uh, not sure what's going on at the moment. Uh, this will be in as a jump cut because there's no point in putting like a fancy effect or anything in. So people of SciTech forums, what do I do? Uh, I really don't know at the moment. Uh, so yeah, I can cancel that out, and if I go back to the uh, control panel, bring up the device manager, and see what we have. Uh, Driver web install. Installed correctly. What is this unknown device? Unknown on SciTech Cyborg, I think I mentioned that before. Let's just see whether it can find anything online for it. Cannot create a file when that file already exists. Right, well I don't know what that is. Yeah, unknown, not available, not available, not available. Ah, details. Hardware it's all I'll do is I'll uh, crop this down so the uh, SciTech people can see it because they'll know what it is presumably. This is for the unknown device. Not sure what any of those are off the top of my head. Obviously the head stands for the human interface device but I really don't know. And yeah, the creative game port, like I said, comes down to the sound card, so that's not relevant. So if we go back to uh, your know, keyboards, what we got? Yeah, standard PS2 is my Microsoft one, so that works. And then just as human interface device, this should be the SciTech one, but uh, that's coming under Microsoft for some reason. And it's a generic WDM device, probably. Not device drive, or what am I on about? And then, uh, yeah, human interface device. All the side tech ones are there. See? So, yeah, they're there. It's just not knowing what to do. And now, the, you see, the device drive is only going on about the creative game part now. So I don't understand because it's just being awkward. If I bring that back down and uh, I'll put the light back on. Switch back to camera mode. Alright, look, you can see me again. Like I said, it's powered on. It's there. But uh, if I switch to the 3D mix. There's my start, start key, which I'm not sure whether it will work, but nothing. See? Even caps lock isn't lighting anything up. So, um, yeah, not too sure. All the, uh, Controls work well from the volume one, but that's never really bothered me. Media functions 
side tech mode works. Side ball, what about that side tech mode? Yeah, see, the colour changes all work fine. I have no idea what's going on with this. So, yeah, any help would be appreciated, thank you.